my little uh, corner of the tube, as we say, where I share my love for cross stitch, knitting, crochet, crafts in general, but mostly cross stitch. Um, so yeah, um, first of all, thank you everyone who has come to watch. I hope that you enjoy and find um, something you like in each and every one of my videos. I'm going to tell you that the universe was against me today <laughs> in recording this, but I've had this stuff set up for three days now, so I'm doing it. We're getting it done. Might get interrupted by my son who feels like he needs to make an appearance and that that will up my viewership. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it's been a little bit, uh, kind of planned on doing these more often, but life, right? Um, our dog, our lab, I think I talked about this before, had a, um, had her second TPLO surgery, which is the canine equivalent of a human ACL in canines. It is their canine, canine cruciate ligament. Um, so we did the left leg around Christmas time, late December, and then we just last week on the 7th, today is, what is today? The 19th. Um, she had the right leg done because that one was almost fully torn. He said when he went in, it was three quarters of the way. So this one has been a little bit tougher. Uh, seems to have been more pain the first week or so, but she's doing fine. Um, we have eyes on her at all times. <clears throat> Pat, she's right behind me. She might make an appearance. Who knows? Um, yeah, so uh, been... Uh, helicopter dog mom nurse here at home but so it's taken me a little bit to get everything together and kind of write down what I wanted to say and whatever but I have been doing a lot of stitching so let's get to that whips first whip um, a stitch along now too I'll put it down here chaos verbs uh, Dr. Christie I know I've shown this before and again and again but I'll show it again see I'm just I'm dropping everything today cameras are falling it is what it is temperature birds by dr. Christie um, Christy corner needlework on Etsy is where she sells her patterns I'm just gonna pick things up I'm just gonna let them drop and then I'll pick them up um, awesome go check out her designs I mean this is just one example and then you'll see the other fun one that I'm doing that is also a little bit of a history lesson so here is where I am on chaos birds oh the light today I better get something behind this maybe if I sit behind it right um I usually work on this on Saturday or Sunday morning and then I pick a morning during the week before work so I've gotten the first section of March done over here so I have a little catching up to do a few days seven days maybe um, so yeah maybe after I'm done today I will work on that and get it done and get it all caught up um, birds are certainly being chaotic uh, synonymous with the hashtag here in Wisconsin because winter left the room and then she came back in screaming I'm not done with you yet we're she's not done with us yet mm. all right next dog's declaration I put a few stitches I will put pictures to the cameras backwards I'm using QuickTime. please 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 if you're a floss tuber and you're watching me and you have a Mac and you have a recommendation about what programs to use to record so that I don't have this crazy anxiety inducing setup I would appreciate it if you think about it you know help a craft help a fellow craft a sister out um dog's declaration by oh my gosh I'm not ready at all see universe that's okay we'll get through it bear with me ink circles And here is my progress and again let's just use the patterns 
There we go. Come make your appearance, I've already said. It's my goofy, goofy. I'm handsome. <laughs> we'll see if that stays or if that leaves. Anyways, I will put the, um, <sighs> you guys come to see my chaos, right? The picture <laughs> here. Nope. I'll put it over here. I'll put it somewhere. It'll just be a surprise. Ooh. Okay. So I worked down the board, the one part of the border, and then I'm going to show you the pattern. Um, just put a few stitches on. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, if you are staying here and watching this right now, bless your heart. Okay. That's on Picture This Plus Tyco 40 Count. That's the called for fabric. And I'm using the called for Baldani, except that I'm going to change the color of the dogs to match my dogs. And I am going to probably make the words darker. Haven't decided yet. I'm hoping to get some more time in that and, that <clears throat> and work in so that I can decide what that color is going to be for the wording. Next. <laughs> Mod Cross, um, what'd she say? She did a shout out. Thank you so very, very much for the shout out. It warms my heart. It's so appreciated. Um, she said, a madcap girl from Wisconsin. I'm like, I had to look up madcap. I'm like, what is this? Um, and it's uh, eccentric and lively, something like that. I'm like, yeah. That, that's it. Long dog. Long dog. Love me some long dogs. Oh, I gotta tell you about BAP's big ass projects and why I need to not start any more, but I will. The long dog sampler. You gotta go backwards to go forwards. Better press on in the immortal world words of Willy Wonka. <sighs> Maybe coffee will help. Mmm. Long Dog, Anzac. This is my whip go, one of my whip go calls this month for March. And I've gotten, I've, I've been going. I have seven days in of my eight days that I have on my whip go board. And there, yeah. I think that, and I'll put a picture to prove me either um, truthful or a liar. I've done all of this whoop see I can't even point all of this I only had like the lizards and this one little koala so I put in all of this I'll take it I have one day left and I will probably work on it some more after that I'm gonna kind of might start like a rotation I have this basket over here like active like I want to work on whips and I um might just like kind of put them in an order and then grab one every few days just to get some stitches in. I don't know. I go back and forth. I don't like to be pressured into what I'm doing, although I do like whip go. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Next, B from BB from the MFE. B from BB by the MFE. Birds from Bernhard Books by Modern Folk Embroidery. Again, reminder, very, very, very um, brilliant, amazing, beautiful pattern that I looked at its birthday the other day on the card because I um, was putting a little more work in on it and I started this in August, August 1st of 22. So if I could finish it by August 1st of 23. So this was, was this whip go last month? because this is what go last month and I said eight days which I did I met that goal and then I said I'd like to get the first two pages done almost I've almost got the first two pages done I'm gonna have to find something else to use um yeah just a few stitches um away 
from the whole two pages, but I worked a little bit beyond those two pages. So can we just say synonymous with the two page finish? Yeah, really love this. Love the um, fabric, love the floss. Again, this is being done on 40 count question mark question mark that I said I think is Nicholas Lamel, uh, Tomas, he's on Etsy. Go, run. Um, amazing hand-dyed fabrics from Hungary that get here in the blink of an eye. I, I have a bag that I ordered, a knitting bag from the UK, and the lady, bless her heart, said, I'm not sure when you're going to get this. Like, our mail is bad. It's screwed up. Sorry. This is bugging me. Um, when did I order that? beginning of January and I used some Christmas money um it's March it's still not here I don't know where it is I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it but like literally he dyed dried packaged and sent material that I ordered for another pattern that I mentioned in my last video and you'll see again because it's now fully kitted it was here five days the whole process and shipping from Hungary Oh, Floss is Live and Die LA in the colorway Nebula. Ooh, that's showing up nice today in this light. Yeah. Love it. Awesome Flosses. Live and Die LA. Here comes Dr. Christie again. Here's the naughty one. Well, it's not naughty. It's human anatomy. Here's human anatomy. If you're offended by human anatomy... Um, turn away. I will try to cover the portions of the pattern that contain the human anatomy. Just kind of show you that we have... Ooh, ooh. See? I don't know which way my hand's going. None, none harvesting phalluses. She is going to do a series of these called Medieval Marginalia. See up here? That are her um, patterns based off of drawings in the margins of medieval text and I think that that history is amazing and cool and I'm into it. So shout out to Dr. Christie. I can't wait for the next one. Here's my progress. You can see this because it's on a thicker Ada that I tea dyed briefly myself. So I'll show you here where I was last time. Yeah. Did some color completion, uh, except for up in that big tree where the phalluses sit. And I am using the called for DMC. What? Who am I? I am using called for. Why? I never. I just gotta make sure that I'm not lying and I can't find my card. So I guess, you know what? If I am, you guys will never know. But yeah, I think that's a. 20 count 18 it's 18 or 20 it's gonna be nice and cute like I like it next a sale that I put a cut I put some time in the last couple days actually this is from pixel pixie cross stitch I have another story pertaining to them the natural world sale so this is January and that February and March are already out. So I have done this. This is on a 22 count hard anger that I also just briefly coffee tea dyed on myself. It's kind of thick. Um, can't say that I'm not enjoy, enjoying working on this. I don't know that it's my favorite fabric ever, but um, yeah, I'm getting through halfway through the border of February. <laughs> I really want to go dip down and get into the little motifs of the animals and the plants. But I'm trying to decide, because I can never decide, if I'm going to pick two other floss colors, one for 
the animals and the plants. And then there's a contrast in color that she even has in the pattern. Um, this is heavily variegated. This is one of my favorite floss dyers. Okay, <laughs> moving on. The floss is Boundary Waters by Night Stalker's Calling. Look at that. Like I said, all the colors in nature, the earth, it just really screamed, do a natural world sal in me. Um, <clears throat> love them. So I picked out so far this green that I might use in the middle, which brings out some of the greens in there. But I don't know if I want to do the other one in a blue or in a beige. I don't know. You guys have any thoughts, words of wisdom, choices? Very variegated. I also thought last night as I was working on it, maybe I can just find two um, coordinating DMC colors since I have the entire rainbow of DMCs, you know? So yeah. <gasps> in a new project bag that was made by me. I know, still not great. Still not great, you guys. Still not great. Oh, I look like, and there's a thread hanging, but that's from my fabric, not from my bag. Still not great. This nice little batik yellow in the middle. Yes, I'm a huge Milwaukee's Brewers fan, and I'm loud about it. <clears throat> More so in our household because I live with two St. Louis Cardinals fans. I'm surviving. But I make brewer's bags. I love it, Mimi. I have three more that I'm going to do today. Not all brewer's bags. Uh, different things. Um, that I have been kind of cutting all the material out and getting it ready. I find that if I do that in sections, it's not so overwhelming. I spend the whole day. Um, not that, but it was it's fun. Um, yeah, continuing on through whips, and then I'll show you my other fully finishes. Oh goodness! We're gonna get through this, you know. I watch uh, the Grocery Girls are a knitting podcast, and they just do theirs live. They just do theirs live. They talk to people for like two hours. I don't know that anybody would listen to me for two hours, but, <clears throat> and it is what it is. So this is going to be what it's going to be. And thank you for understanding my chaos. My gosh. In the library, which is... Hashtag in the library sale. Uh, come join me in Lala D stitches. Um, I know I saw somebody else on Instagram that was working on this just this morning, and I should have commented and mentioned. I can't remember who it is. I'll never remember. I'm sorry. I apologize about that too. In the library, Mojo Stitches, which uses the amazing, the awesome, the plump, the luscious, the gorgeous, the beautiful the fastly becoming my favorite threads in the entire world flosses threads these are also used as threads i know that um cottage garden oh gosh i got in i got in i got into garan um citry garan's uh cottage garden thread of the month club So I'll get five every month. I want all of them. I want the whole collection. I really do. I will use these. There's another pattern I started that you'll see that I like. I'm sneaking in a card, cottage garden thread. Doing it. Wherever I can. I love them, you guys. They are so nice to work with. And they're so pretty. Okay, so here I am. I got more stitches in. I put some time in this last weekend on sale Saturday. Um, and on that uh, ivy border, and I filled in the top of that lamp that I love. That, yeah, reminds me of one of those old antique, like the lamps of the birds and the fruit on them. I think that's what they're going for here, maybe. But uh, those are expensive. Oh my gosh, 
my husband and I were in an antique store, and you'll see my awesome find. Um, and I was looking at those lamps, and they... I looked at the lamp, I looked at the price tag, and then I said, and you'll be staying here today. Yeah, goodness. My parents, grandparents, hopefully you kept your stuff for your kids, because, <laughs> oh, I was looking in, the, and then, but then I was like, oh, I think my dad has about 1,062 fishing baits that were going, some of them were going for 40 or $50. Coffee. Apparently, I need more. Nevertheless, new start, and I'll show you my progress. And this can bleed into the full free full me, because this was a free pattern. March was Women's History Month, so last month, oh, I didn't even do my finishes. I guess we'll do those after whips. You hear you said that. February did Black History Month pattern. <clears throat> March, something for Women's History Month. I have been looking for a Nevertheless She Persisted pattern for a very long time. And I came across this one full free. It is on K.B. Salazar. K.B. Salazar. Did I write it down? Because it was a really weird website. I didn't. I will link it. I will I'll go find it and I'll link it. So free pattern. Gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the end. I love it. So ornate. So colors for Women's History Month traditionally purple and gold. That reminded me too much of the Minnesota Vikings again. <laughs> Sorry, welcome, Stitchery ladies. Um, I love purple and gold together, though. I really do. And they just, but I can't, I just can't. I do it, but I don't do it as often as I'd like because it reminds me of the Minnesota Vikings. And obviously, you saw in my coffee cup, that, as we say here in Wisconsin, would be blasphemy. Blasphemy. So I chose... Colors synonymous with women's suffrage, the women's suffrage movement, and I am doing purple and green. And I am putting my paper behind this so that you can see it. Purple and green. Yeah, I love it. So I finished my Black History Month stitch at by the end of February, squeaked it out on February 28th. So this I am planning to have done by March 31st, 12 days. It will have to become my morning slash if I get a lunch stitching. Some days lately I have not gotten a lunch. I do have four days off next weekend. And I don't really have plans because of the dog. Yeah, how about that? That'll work. I am doing this on a 46 count um, antique white Bergen linen by Zweigart, which I love. I, I, I'm i a neutral gal. I'm a really light neutral gal. I'm just now starting to adventure into some color, and it's great for me. Um, Silks for You PR137 is the purple. No, it isn't. It's the green. That is Silks for You, PR 137. And the, <laughs> the purple is Gloriana in Ultraviolet. Oh, so pretty. Love me some purple. Love me some green. Love me some blue. Not a huge pink fan. I know, don't come at me, Cam the Stitcher and others. <laughs> but I don't object to it either. I I like to like all of the colors of the rainbow. Next. Oh, I think that's it for whips. Yay. So let me go backwards and show you my finishes. So here is my fully finished of the MLK sampler. Again, carriage house samplings. Yes. 
um, and I changed the colors to represent and I didn't pull the pattern back out. I put it away. <laughs> um, changed the colors to be representative of Black History Month colors. So reds, greens, um, yellow. And I love this. I think it's going to just probably go on my craftivism bulletin board that I've got going on. Or I might, but I might do like a hem, hem, hem it out, hem stitch. I watched uh, Julie, um, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World was explaining that she, or she did a hem stitch on a project and it was, um, Anna? I can't remember what, whose tutorial she watched. I'll have to look that up too. Um, yeah, but that's what I might do. Look at a tutorial for a hem stitch and just hem that out and put it on my bulletin board. Next finish, Saf, start and finish, Saf, Song of Naruz, Marumi Designs, Miriam, if you haven't looked at Miriam's, she sells her patterns on Gumroad. She's on Instagram. She's on FlossTube. If you have not checked her out, please, 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 please do so. Just awesome. This is also my Stitch Asia project. And since today, fittingly, or tomorrow, is Spring Equinox, first day of spring, I want to believe in spring. I want to start again. And I would love for things to bloom. Um, here in Wisconsin. Because like I said, it became winter again here for a few days and we just really need it to be warm now. Um, yeah. She explains, go watch her video on this release. She explains, you know, like one bird looks forward, one looks back. Um, this is a, this is a symbol for renewal in their culture. Um, it's a, they have, they dance. I'm not going to try because I can't remember, but she gives a whole explanation. So, here we are. There it is. My little song of Nehru's. And I love it. And I love it. Now, this one, I am not sure what I'm going to do about. I might have to frame this somehow in the size. My husband starts making me frames to just take off the... Uh, or in this size because and why I chose this <clears throat> fabric even though I am like the world's most indecisive person <coughs> excuse me today look at the modeling and how it mimics the design I'm like yeah that's the fabric that's the fabric and then of course Night Stalker's Calling <laughs> When I get more cottage garden, that'll probably be more of my go-to. Um, I like so many different flosses, I shouldn't say that. But Night Sacker's Calling in the colorway Love Note. And I liked how, I mean, I did this so tiny. This is a 22 count. Yes? No? Maybe? Oh my gosh. I took the card away. Um, 22 count, I believe. XJU, XJU design in the colorway Bloom. That's the, co the colorway was called blue. Done. So that was a finish. And then my other finishes were my second brewer's bag. I just, I made two. If I'm cutting all that fabric and stuff out and I'm setting up a sewing machine, I'm just, I'm going to do a few. And then I had some leftover, like the batting and I had some little pieces of cloth that I'm like, look at this little bag I made. Oh my God, I can't even find it. Look at it. So dogs, you know, some stitching. I'm learning. I'm learning. I keep practicing. And then the bones on the inside. So that can hold, you know, even for my knitting projects, that can hold um, stitch markers and such. Or for cross stitch, it can hold extra needles. And it could, if you're doing a small project and you just have a couple flosses, whatever. Um starts. Nevertheless, um, 
I'm showing this. Oh no. Song of Nerus was a start and a finish. Nevertheless, I actually started on February 28th. So it was a February start, but I wanted to get it going for. And then my other start was for, um, well not for, I already had this out and I was going to kit it. And then I, as the day I was kidding it, I was watching Bridgen, the museum stitcher. Go check her out if you haven't seen her already. She's beautiful projects. You know what I'm excited about? I'm excited to see all of these young ladies and or gentlemen um, who are stitching, who are crafting, who are, and then sharing with us. I just love that there's another younger generation like, I even worried my generation wasn't going to craft, you know, so much. I'm 48. But all of these young, all these youngsters, sorry, you guys, they're a little younger. So, but all these younger um, individuals who are crafting and stitching and knitting and I love it. I love it. So, anyways, Night Walk Down, the Blue Flower. I've had this in my... I need to start that ASAP pile for a very long time. Um, so anyways, yeah, I was pulling stuff because I'm like, I got to get a blue flower on, on the fabric. And I was watching her and she's like, oh, if anybody wants to join in my birthday start, I'm going to be stitching the blue flower night walk down and or you could do anything with a bee. She's not picky. Um, I'm like, well... I'm in, ironically, because I'm kidding it as I'm watching you. So I did make a few thread changes. I'm not using any Weeks Dye Works. Oh, wait, I am one because I have it. I'm not buying their threads anymore. Um, and then a few other changes. And this is the one that I said I had to sneak in. Uh, Cottage Garden Thread. Look at that. Terracotta. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. I really, really do. I love that. Like, just, if you haven't, get one. Just get one for something and feel it and touch it and work with it and then tell me that I'm wrong. Or don't. Be nice. Um, But they're amazing. They're beautiful. All right. So... Oh, yeah, I'll probably change the hair, um, Blackbird, because it's got touches of rounds, and I don't, just, to be more like me. Just so she can be more like me. So there's my start. Just a little bit of the border. Um, I am starting, this is my first time, first project starting on the right. Um... I am an in-hand stitcher and sew, sewing method. So Polly, the nice, nice, my new friend Polly <laughs> at Lynn's in Madison um, suggested that I start in the upper right uh, because then I can go across um, and or down and um, it's working. Okay. I mean, I try to do that anyways. I'll I don't know. Part, it's hard for me to explain. You guys get it if you in hand stitch, right? That is a fox and rabbit. Fox and rabbit. Fox and rabbit. Flannel flower 40 count. And the bag is mine. That was the, the first one I ever made that is a beautiful disaster. It's a beautiful disaster. Um... It holds things. That's all that counts. It's not, there. nothing's falling out. Right? It's all that matters. I have an extra bag in here. So yeah, so I, when did I start that? 313, Bridgen's birthday. Happy birthday, Bridgen. Yeah, so I will, um, I want, I really want to, I, I had a hard time putting that down. I really want to see the progress again into the motif. So it's a beautiful pattern. She's amazing. 
the blue flower of Jeanette Douglas. She is amazing. She really is. And such a kind, kind person. Go watch her floss tubes. She's just, you can't help but feel it. Like, it's mental yoga. Like, you just feel renewed and refreshed and happy after you watch her. Um, some things I have kitted up. Ooh, hold on one sec. Who else gets a runny nose? <laughs> like, I know, like, everybody jokes about floss tube nose, and they rub their nose and touch their nose. I actually get congested when I'm recording. Anyone else? All right, Kit, Kit's, Kit's, my last video, when it stopped recording and I lost my way, um, and I could not find my way home. <laughs> Chaos. Um... I think I already, I don't know. We'll, we'll repeat if we have to. A peacock, a unicorn, and a badger. So I know that I talked about this. I got it at Lynn's. I saw the model. Could not help myself. Love it. Got the fabric from Nicholas Lamel. So I am not going to do all of the green background. I am going to just stitch the motifs onto the green fabric and leave the fabric be the background. And I said I was going to get the called for Ava's, Ava's Silks. <laughs> A very soir. Um, but then, uh, Vicki Clayton, hand-dyed silks, hand-dyed fibers. She had a conversion. And there they all are. And I bought it. So this is also in my goes to the investment section of the video. But investments. So Mod Cross. And then I wa I was watch I'm watching I watched all of their I went back and binged them. Um long distance stitchers and they don't have very many followers. Please go check them out. They're Canadian. Um, two Megans, one with an H. G-H, Megan, not starting with an H. Um, and the one with the H does, like, model stitches for D, for D's 20 stitches and their patterns. And I was like, whoa, where did you guys come from? Thank you, YouTube, for that suggestion because that's awesome. Um, yeah, go out, check them out. They are really... Um, fantastic stitchers and very fun to watch. Vari large variety of projects, so again, something for everyone. Um, Mad she she Mad Hatter, she Mad Hatter by Barbara Anna, which would be my first Barbara Anna. Where have I been? Um, I have plenty of her patterns. Trust me, I just. How many? What do you do? I have seen this on um, both the gray, like a grayish as shown fabric and on a what, like a lighter fabric. And I really liked it on a lighter fabric. Now I'm a lighter fabric gal. So I don't know. I get, I know I will, oh gosh, I can't remember her name, but oh, I just watched her yesterday. She's also a Canadian. Watching a lot of Canadian cross stitchers. Um, but she changed the cup or she stitched it on a white a lighter neutral, but she wished she had changed the cup color. So I'll have to keep that in mind if I do, because the two fabrics I'm flipping a coin over is a Nicholas Flamel, and this is a very dark gray. I, I think it'll look good. But or Trixie Tricycle, Jody's, Cedar Ritter, Cedar, Cedar Ritter. Why do I keep doing that? Cedar River Linens and Designs. And this is Albarium. Ugh. I just need a yard. I just need a yard of this. It's a 56 count, so she, that would be pretty little, but I, I think it might, this might have to be it, and I'll just change the teacup. 
and her vest, her, uh, her, not her vest, whatever, her dress, the top of her, the top of whatever piece of clothing that is, that shirt, sweater, whatever. Who am I to say what she's wearing? Um, yeah, I would just have to do a little play, more playing with the flosses. I like it. I like it a lot. Or maybe I'll go with an entirely different fabric. The next time you guys see it, when I actually start it, you'll be like, oh, those are none of the things that you showed us so far, Julie. And that's usually how it works out for me. Um, the other thing I have fully kitted now, thank you to Roxy Flasco, is Maximum Cross Stitch. Ellen, um, Road Leads Home. I love this. I, this is going to be crazy. This is new and different for me. But I got the called for fabric, fabric which is um, 46 count porcelain. And I got the flosses. Because I think it's beautiful just how it is. Now, when I go to start stitching it, <laughs> I might be like, oh, let's work in something, something. We'll see. But these are gorgeous. Roxy Flaxco, um, and they're gorgeous flosses, and I just need more, um, more of their flosses, so why not get the floss pack for the pattern? I also just ordered her, 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 and you'll see in acquisitions. I'll leave that in charge of acquisitions. No, investments. Thank you, Mod Cross. Thank you, Long Distance Stitchers, for reminding us all that really it is an investment because we're investing in our craft and our hobby and something that we love to do. And it, it's self care, really, right? Um, most of us, all of us, have some stressors in our life, just difficult situations, things, jobs, family, lack of family. Um, dealing with social injustices, etc. So this is an investment in ourselves, our crafting. And it's important. And it's important to do things that you love and enjoy to take care of yourself. Because you matter. All right. For free for me. Nevertheless, she persisted. I already showed you that. And then, you guys, if you have not went to check out Darling and Whimsy, she is the um, designer behind all of the little quirky Quakers. Go to her website. Thank you, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, for pointing out that she has free patterns. She has some free quirky Quakers. Thank you, Fishbone and the Border. Those are cat heads. So cute. She has another one. Candy corn. So Halloween. Super cute. And quirky Quaker pride flags. Look at it. So you do the border and then whichever one you choose. Or each of them. One each. I think that'd be really cool. So, oh, I'll show you this in investment. I'm going to leave these right here, not on top of my notes, so I can show you what I think I might do. All right. Investments. I apologize for the bending, but limited space in here today. Like, I moved things around to get a better stuff behind me, and I should just go with it. My night soccer's calling March... Yeah, is this the March box? Yeah. Was a Discovery of Witches theme this month. Um, so there are three flosses that they send you. And you guys, it's like $20, $24, I think. I don't, it's not expensive. There's the flosses. Look at those. Look at those. Vampire. Demon and witchy. Super cute. 
a little rack candy sucker, a little uh, jar of agate stones, green agate. Cute, cute, cute. This will go on my mini mini bookshelf when our miniature shelf when I get it hung up. A discovery, a discovery of witches needle minder. I love that. I read these books. I devoured them. I thought they were fabulous. I only watched the first season of the show. Um, it was good. Can't complain. Little bag. Magic is desire made real. And inside of the bag, some sage for all of your uh, household saging needs. So yeah, I love that. I forgot last month and one of the colorways was in a project. I can't remember which project. But I forgot to show you my Pride and Prejudice colorways. So I have two of them here. And I can put them away. One is Pride and one is Prejudice. Oh, I took one of the colors out to substitute in my birds because there was a color that wasn't showing up very well. And we had like five days in a row of that temperature. So I was like, yeah, I think that I'm going to swap that one out. All right. Oh, God. It was market. I don't have to tell you it was market. I'm not going to do these in any particular order because I'm just going to pull and go. And we'll be here all day. I placed an order with European Cross Stitch because I am kidding up the Desert Chatelaine. And, um, yeah, I could, so I need the beads. And everybody said, just get them there. Just get them there. You don't have to worry if you go to one site and they're out of that color, whatever. They'll just have, and it, I didn't have to wait. Like, I've heard horror stories. I think when you kid up a whole Chatelaine, it can take some time. But these came fairly quickly. So I got the Del all the Delica beads for the Desert Landscapes. So I have everything. Oh, except for fabric. I haven't decided on fabric. I know. I know. I, if you know and you're willing to share with me below or email me or find me on Instagram and message me, What's the highest cone fabric that I could go to? Because I've never beaded. Um, and be safe. I know, like, some of these beads are pretty big. So, I, I'm thinking, but most of them are very tiny. Is a 36 count okay? Uh, or do I just follow the laws of a shadowing? Like, do, will I be in, threatened by persecution? I think they call for a 32. We'll see. But now I can put those away. Oh, and I got these cool beading needles. Because I saw them on there and I'm like, yeah, why not? I don't know if I need them or not, but I'll use them for tiny stitching if I don't. So they can't travel alone, right? So I found this. I thought this was super cute. Look at this. Filigram cross stitch blackberry plant. And look at there's a gecko. A ladybug, a spider, a walking stick, a butterfly, some other bugs, grasshopper, and this little mouse. Things that live under the blackberry plant. Nature. Love it. And then nature. Love it. TA Designs. Never had one of their designs before. From Stacy, Minnesota. So, hi neighbor. My Forest, and it's monochrome, and I love me a monochrome, and I thought that was really pretty. I like it. In fact, on my terracotta or my sage fabric that I got that I showed you last time, that just worked. Okay. I put everything back the way it was. We'll never, ever get out of here. Okay. Uh, Lindy Stitches, and instead of getting her through, uh, I went directly to her to get these patterns that I knew she was releasing at market time because I was in the Bird Crush Club last year, but I wasn't able to join until February. Um, I missed January, so I missed the Stellar Day. 
So I got the Stellar Dray, and I got it directly from Lindy because I was afraid if I got it ever anywhere else, I wouldn't get the awesome postcard that she includes with information on the bird because I'm a nerd, and I need I need to know the thing, all the things, and that photo is stunning. And she sends a little Threadwork floss and the sticker <laughs> that goes with each of the birds. So in this case. It's going to be the um, needles on the pine tree, it looks like. So I had to do that, right? And then while I was there, I also had to get the armchair ornithologist. <laughs> because I am one. I am definitely not a uh, expert. But boy, do I like to look at research and figure out ways to get more birds to come to my yard. It was so super cute. Love it. And she sent a free, she sent a little freebie. She sent a little freebie. Look, love and prickles. The porcupine. Isn't that adorable? Thank you, Lindy. So nice. I love it. 73 by 33. Tiny. Fun. So, oh, you guys, I'm so excited to put all this away. I've been stuffing it into a bag. Um, God, where did I go? I don't know. I, oh, I came across these guys on, did I come across them on Instagram? I better not be lying. Let me look to see if I wrote it down. I didn't. I think I did just come across these on Instagram. Posy stitches. Or somebody posted something, you know, blah, blah, blah. But look at this. The mist and all. A mushroom, an owl, a blackbeard. I love the colors and the clouds and the moon. And this is autumn. Don't ask me if they had summer, spring, and winter. Because, oh, I think, yeah, they did. They did. So go to aliciapaulson.com. Posey by Alicia Paulson. Patterns and kits to stitch. Because they're cool. I like it. Heaven and Earth Designs, which I've only just started the one, right? And I... Will I ever get one finished at all? Sale, 50% off. I don't know. Whatever. I've, again, how many people? How many people are doing this? Raise your hand. Lots of us. Lots of people. Mini Contessa with Squid. Artwork by Omar Rayan. Rayan? Charted by Heaven and Earth. Um, I love it. I love Octopi and Squid. Love them. Again, with all the animals, right? So, we'll see when I can, maybe a 2024. <laughs> I got my, oh, I got some fabric from Night Stalkers Calling this time. And they are having a fabric of the month, too. It's a 20 count Ada. I think their linen only goes to 32. So, I got a 20 count Ada in the colorway parchment. Very nice. Very nice. Definitely figure out something to do that. I like me a 20 count Ada. I am not opposed to a 20 count Ada. 18, a 20, I really like. I'm not opposed to Ada. I'm not. This is Silver Creek Samplers Sing a Series. And it is Doe, a deer, a female deer, Ray. I'm not going to do it all. Mipa, Zola. T do. So when you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. One of my favorite all time, favorite all time productions is The Sound of Music, the movie and the stage. Um, so I am, yes, and there's a cell. There's two cells. I'll tell you about them down here. Uh, X Stitch MD and 
somebody else, I'm sorry, I forgot. And then somebody else had like sing a series sale and then sing a song sale or sale along, sing song sale along. Just read it. Sorry about my memory. So yeah, so then I saw that Extitch MD, I think, had a Roxy Flasco conversion. And I, so I'm like, or no, Roxy Flasco posted it. And I'm like, I'm going to need this. And she, like, she had it in a story and I replied to the story and said, I'm going to need this. <laughs> and she so graciously messaged me back and said, email Hannah, tell her you want one. We'll probably put up a listing tomorrow. So before I could email Hannah when I had time, they had a listing. So I ordered it. It's on its way. And they have super fast, blazing fast shipping as well. So I'm sure I'll have it soon. So now I better get on picking out a fabric so that I can start this. But I have a couple more bags all cut out and ready to make today. And a couple of them are musically themed. So <laughs> ready for you. I'm going to set these somewhere else. You know you have a problem when you order something, forgot you ordered it in the meantime, and you order it again. God damn it. <laughs> Seriously. Brennan Needle, Brennan Nettle, not sure, Canada again. Amazing flosses. They have uh, floss packs, monthly floss packs, but it's not a subscription or an auto renew. You just go and order when you feel like it. So this is February, and I can't remember what the theme was. There's always a theme, but they have the craziest, awesomest names, and I won't go through all of them all for all of them all for time's sake. But here are the threads. And they do speckling, like I'm a knitter, right, and a crocheter, so speckling and yarn gets me really excited. Um, so this, like, look at this one, I love this, this is Mar Fulton. I don't know what that is a reference to. I think I heard somebody on a floss tube say what it was, but... My ducky, my ducky. I love this sticking yarrow up your sticking yarrow up your nose. Pretty. So yeah, so March came twice because I ordered it and forgot I ordered it apparently and ordered it again. <sighs> That's not happening. So it was cooking like cooking theme kitchen party. And this colorway of Kitchen Party was March. The Antlers Crew. Ooh, love that neutral. Love that neutral for me. Jigs and Reels. And I saw somebody did a quirky Quaker in this. No, they didn't. It was Darling and Whimsy design. The designer. And she did one of Marumi, um, Marumi designs, Miriam's designs in this. And it looked really cool. Tune, tune your spoons and the Jenny Lind and looky here double the fun so I guess if I need 20 yards of one of these for a pattern I've got it Good God. shopping problem anyone Oh, I gotta stop. I have a plan. Okay. Uh, I placed a, I did do a market pre-order with uh, Abby from Top Knot because I love her. Um, I got the cookbook, which is full of really tempting recipes and some super duper cute smalls. And I need some quick wins because here's my problem. I have... I have, and I want to start, and I have kitted 
way too many backs, big ass projects. I need some quick wins. Like that's why I decided my craftivism monthly, like is going to be a smaller, I can get it done in the month so that I feel like I'm finishing something and the quirky Quaker idea that I will show you in a minute. All right. So things are going to fall. Um, I also got Dirty Annie's Greyhound Santa. So cute. So freaking cute. I'm not a, I'm not a big seasonal stitcher, Christmas stitcher. I just, I, I don't know. I'm not. It, it, except if it's a pagan woodsy Santa guy with dogs. With greyhounds. My neighbors when I was growing up, um, they raised greyhounds. They even named one after my daughter. I feel like that's deja vu. Did I mention that in my last video? I don't know. But if I didn't, now you know. Um, and then Autumn Lane Stitcheries, The Vanishing Isle, which, okay, Earth Day will be my focus next month. Uh, climate change is a problem obviously uh and really what we need to call it is human day because save the humans right save the earth but we're saving ourselves if we don't do something we're working against ourselves because we if the earth's not here or is it does not have a sustainable um an atmosphere an atmosphere <laughs> that can sustain life um, or it kills us because of erratic weather patterns caused by global warming, um, then we're gone. So <laughs> save the humans. Um, but yes, because, you know, save the earth to save the humans. Anyways, the Stitchers Collective and good... I keep calling it the Cross Stitch Collective. It's not. It's the Stitchers Collective. I will put a picture somewhere and a link and a whatever. Um, it is a group of designers, including people I've mentioned, Christy Corner, Pixel Pixie, um, I believe Darling and Whimsy, uh, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, I believe. Anyways, they're a group of stitchers just kind of getting together for the to help and support each other and um whatever whatever they're doing as designers which is awesome um they will be doing the in april um a fundraiser sort of ish if you go donate to a climate change organization that they have designated and show them proof of your donation, then they're going to, they're, um, they'll have like 25 designs. And I need an Earth Day. That'll be my focus in April is Earth Day. Save the Humans Day. Which I thought about it and I'm looking up at my Emma Congdon from the earth day book thinking i could do a pattern out of there or i mean that's nature right but i just like that the vanishing isle like hmm, yeah are we holding up wildlife anyways or do i wait to see what they're gonna do and pick one of theirs or take suggestions from all of you wonderful people on if you know of any other cute and or you know, sam samplier, samplyish Earth Day designs. But that'll be my focus. I just know if I wait till the 15th, that doesn't give me a lot of time to finish it unless there's something really, you know, small and doable. So maybe I will. Who knows? On with the show. Here on Stitchery, I put an order in with them for market because I like to spread the love to the little guys. Rebel Stitcher. Had to have it. Absolutely. Craftivism. These will be done in months. 
Um, if you haven't checked out her designs, please do. Never be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. I love, if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. Yeah. And then, oh man, I looked at this, put it in my cart, took it out, looked at it, put it in my cart, took it out, looked at it. And then Gary from Garen's to Tree in their, <clears throat> one of their floss tubes said that it, when he was at market and he saw the model of this, he had to have it. I'm like, all right, sold. Kirito samplings, Anna's bird. I guess, yeah, why wouldn't you want to stitch that? Sam model or no model? That's just really cool. Is that a blue heron? Does she say? Oh, the design was inspired by the sighting of a striking Anhinga water bird while kayaking with my daughter Anna on a Florida lake. Oh, I love it. I got some fabrics by Stephanie Melody, 40 count. I just could not get this. Pretty. And Lap and Loops. She's the daughter of, oh my gosh, it was just in my head and it fell out. A designer nice gray gray model neutral it's pretty 40 count I got a whole fat half of that because I don't know and then I've been waiting ever so impatiently March 28th I believe she said in her last boss tube is the launch of her new website because I need her 12 strand silk for tiny stitching almond m ms I got some of her silks just because I had to have them. These actually were the silks that were dyed to go with um, the fox, the almond fox pattern. Is that the name of it? I don't know. And I didn't get the pattern, but now I think I need to. These silks are amazing, you guys. Oh my God, if you just feel them. I had to put those away. That's garbage. So is this. Now, this was more of a, um, oh, where did these come from? I got these with floss. Sorry. I'm just going to pick up the bag. Oh, God, who was this from? <laughs> Sassy Jack Stitchery. Don't ask me how I remember. I think because I wanted, I was looking for a Verisua and to try, to try some different um, and I needed like the Swasser Fiend because it's the thin stuff. So I got this little sampler pack. They had like these little sampler packs. Sassy Six. I'll use them. And then they also had a little sampler or like a clearance pack of the 103s. And I've never used them. So I thought, well, what a better way to try so look at uh, just uh, in a great variety, great um, mix of colors in there. Why not? Couldn't travel. So I got BR's Moth by Kathy Merrick. Barrick. 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 I have another one of her moths. I don't know. And then I got Heartstring Samplery's A Dog Glass Will and Testament. I won't read it all to you, but it makes me cry. And I love my dogs. Love the doggies. I won a pattern from Yasmin. Yasmin's made with love. If you guys haven't watched her, again, run, don't walk. She's amazing. She, she um, was raising, she was running a marathon, raised money for some charity by selling some of her patterns blah, blah 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 so she's a good human I like good humans um everything has beauty I want it and I love it super cute all right that's that oh my gosh oh, that's so much to put away but it's gonna feel so good when I placed the order with uh Vicki Clayton's to get the silk for 
badger unicorn peacock or peacock unicorn badger, whichever order that is. She was selling these um, little samples that she must have for her fibers. And they're little, they're six strand silks. Um, and it's approximately one half yard. And this was like $3. I kid you not. Maybe I shouldn't share this so that I can go get more. Um, quirky Quakers, you guys. Tiny stitching, you guys. Smalls. I, like, there's solids. There's variegateds. There's, like, I just, that's so cool. There's, like, 40 of them. So what is that? 80 yards of silk? No. 20 yards. <laughs> I'm actually good at math. I'm okay at math. I was never bad at math. Oh my gosh. Uh, fabric of the month from uh, XJU Designs. I get their 40, her 46 count there. I don't know. Um, prim. And this was the February colorway. It was whoop, choco, choco chalk. Choco chalk. And it is chocolatey. And then she sends you this little gift thread. This month it was a yellow. And she sends a little flower design. A year of flowers. And I can use that yellow in my flowers. Ooh, you can kind of see the pattern through there. But So that was awesome. Oh my nose. What in the world? I finally went into... I went to, uh, <clears throat> no, no, is their name not in here? They shouldn't trust me to remember that. Art Base. Art Base on Etsy. And got a couple, or more than a couple, a few, of their little hoop, hoop frames. So that's like, this one I think is like an inch and a half. But these are both, this one is a little under an inch. And this is an inch. And look at this one. So I need to tiny stitch some stuff to put in those. And they can be uh, necklaces. But one of them, one of the round ones, I think, may have to contain a pride flag. Yeah. On a 56 count. Uh, one over one, if I can stomach it. Again. Because what are the stitch counts on these? I thought I had added it up, and I won't bore you with that. I could just do the flag, too. I don't have to do the outside. 40 ish okay and then my last investment um, I promise is my mystic fabric fabric of the month in 40 count and it is called time worn time worn super cool neutral oh I love that that's browns and grays I didn't look closely enough at this <gasps> Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, I like it. I love Mystic Fabrics. I think I've talked about her pretty extensively as well. I don't know any other. I mean, you know, make piles of fabrics, piles of whatever. Anyways, okay. So my next whip go call was actually knitting. So. This is kind of it for cross stitch, I think. I don't know. It might come into play, but I am going to talk about knitting now. So my next whip go call was knitting, and it was to start and to make as much progress as possible on the rattlesnake sweater, and I am going to do long sleeves. This is a pattern by Jamie Hoffman. I have had this pattern printed for two years. And I have been collecting the yarn for it for two years. <laughs> I Well, I've had the yarn now for several months. Um, 
or at least what I thought I wanted. But I just never, so I put it on my Whipco board, long story short, so that I would start it and get, make progress on it. So I would have it on the needles. Um, I did not realize, however, that that color work is no joke. Um, it is three colors in one row, no joke, which I've never done, which I'm doing, and I'm going to persevere. I just can only do one to two rows a day in my spare time because I am kind of doing what I think is a Latvian way of um, wrapping the yarn every stitch or every other stitch so that you don't have long floats. And why don't I show you instead of just talking to you? So here is where I am at so far. I will show you the colors that I am using and the colorways. This is what I've got. Can you see? So I am almost through the cactus. And it is loud. I did not know that I was making a sweater that was going to be so bright. I, when you, I'm, it's okay. Great Green Bay Packer sweater, right? Great Packer fan sweater. I like it. I'll wear it. What I do wish though, is that I would have, I would have, I, that I would have more of this light color to finish it. To, I don't know. I just hit stop on my record. Quick time. I don't want to use this. Oh well. Anyways, back to the sweater. This is the other colorway I have because it's hard to see, but in the gray, which is uh, the to the max, which is now Frankie Gray, there's purple. So I'm bringing out that purple. Also in this purple, there are some spots of gold and green right there gold so I thought it would pull it all together I'm not sure that I like it if it's gonna be again hey women's history month <laughs> we've got both purple and green and purple and gold didn't even plan that um so that'll be the bottom and maybe it'll tone it down. I don't like going backwards. You gotta go forward to go back. You better press on, right? Like I said, the immortal words of Willy Wonka. Say that 10 times fast. I don't know. Or do I see if Frankie Gray Fibers, this is an old color way, kiss my ash, if they would, if they possibly could dye some more? And just, I don't know. Then the sleeves would be this color, too. I don't know. We'll see what I decide. Right now, I got to get through this color work. And I have like eight rows left. Eight rows of color work. Not even. I think five. Actually, I'm lying. Again. God, I'm a liar. One, two, three, four, five. Five more rows of color work. I have, I've worked on this literally every day. So I could get through it. So yeah, you can see I don't have very many long floats, or any, really, a few, um, because I am wrapping the yarn every, almost every stitch, if, if not every couple. I don't know what if that's going to make the fabric a lot heavier. I don't know, like, I think, from what I, the video I listened to, and I can't remember her name, because I never do, <laughs> I won't have that weird, um, like I didn't go up a hook size for the color work. So I'm just going with it and hoping it works. Um, the green and the yellow, come back so I don't forget because I wrote it down. Um, no, yes I did. Where did I write it down? Probably in my book of days. Anyways. The yellow is four curl fibers. She is local uh, Wisconsin dyer in Mount Horeb. Super nice lady. I actually met her at a yarn store and she was doing like a pop-up and talked to her for quite a while. This is the colorway Nala. 
and the green is gone fishing. Both tweed, DK, all of this is DK. Like I said, the lighter gray with the purple specks is, uh, well, to the max, but now it's Frank and Gray Fibers. And that is Kiss My Ash. <laughs> I love it. And then, um, the darker purple, the whatever this is dark to light to yellow to whatever is spun right round tweed DK in the color way nine lives spun right round we'll see we'll see and it's kind of a beast to go to carry and fit in the bag so the bag that I have that's coming from Europe um, was going to be my bag for this, but it hasn't yet, yet arrived, and I hope it's not lost somewhere to put out a missing bag report. Can we do that? Um, oh, Advent socks. Literally a few rows, probably not even worth showing you, but I will, because I did put some work. I just need to finish these. Like, why am I not finishing these? Yeah, so. Very long. Nisa. Um, this was the Advent colorway from. Oh my gosh. Woolen. Woolen's a Nash. Came in this cute little bag. Two, the, the, two individual cakes for each sock. The other sock is I got to rip out the heel and do the magic heel because I hate heels and I need different heels. And thank you to Cozy Cat Cabin Stitching who told me to go watch the Crazy Sock Lady again for a tutorial who I have watched in the past and I will have to go review um, to spend a few years. Other yarn in investments, yarn investments, um, my Farmer's Daughter Fiber of the Month. Sock, socks out of the month. Super pretty. That would be a good sock. Or a good hat. Good hat. You don't just have to do socks with sock butts. You can do whatever you want. Put them all together in a crazy sweater. That's what I plan to do because I have so many crazy colors. You can see them behind me. I ordered Knitting Nakabi. Finally, she did an update and I was quick. I was quick. Um, I She... All of her yards are dyed naturally. So I got three because sweater, hopefully, because big ass projects. Like, why not? Um, this is her 100% non superwash merino fingering weight in the colorway, not the brave with two T's. Naturally dyed with coffee and onion skins. Yeah. All, all her yarn is naturally dyed with plants and such. And I am here for it. Love it. Very dark olive green. I hope that is that coming across. Like, yeah, with some browns and then white. Probably look a little camouflage -y, which I'm not a big fan of. No offense to any camouflage fans. But maybe not. So yeah, I'm like watching her page intently because she, if she's going to do a Christmas advent, I know they're, God, people put them on sale so early. Um, I would like to get one this year of all naturally dyed yarns. She did a labyrinth one a few years ago. I don't know if any of you knitters watch, um, the stuff room. <laughs> Why do you get on camera and you're like, your brain just puts up a roadblock to your knowledge? I Like any other day, I would spit this right out. Chevy Rell. Chevy Rell. Go watch her if you don't. You will love her. She, like, yeah, I love her. Um, anyways, the stuff. She got her advent, and it was a labyrinth-themed advent, and it was all... Naturally dyed. Beautiful yarn. For last. That's why. That's why I forgot. Because I'm saving the best for last. I got. 
a yarn box, a yarn, well, a sack yarn box, whatever you want to call it. Another kind of like mystery sack, like kind of like the Woolens and Nash, whatever. Let me just explain it. From Always Be Kind Yarn, Laura, who I've talked about before, um, who is, um, does a lot of work in promoting and advocating for suicide prevention. Um, yeah. So like some of her yarn and patterns, she donates to a suicide prevention organization. She did a spring box, Hello Spring, that came with two little cakes of yarn in these individual bags that you pull out the top, right, as you're knitting your socks so it can be a mystery. Or you can look if you want to, whatever. Two minis in coordinating colors. So since the tops of these start with a purple, I probably do the heel and toe, or the cuff and the toe in the yellow. This little tin of these amazingly cute stitch markers and progress keepers. Look at that. I took one off to use as the beginning of row on my rattlesnake sweater already. I, one of the little rainbows. She's all about rainbows. Um, a little coupon code to go and get... Oh, yeah, and then it all came in this bag, this Hello Spring little canvas bag, so you can put all your stuff in. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. I'm paying with chocolates. Oh, my God, I was craving chocolate the other day, and I didn't think I had any. Thanks, Laura. Keep those all. Some stickers. She always sends stickers when you order from her, but specifically a Hello Spring. So when I finally get around to starting these soon... Um, I will put the sticker in my book of days and then a coupon code to, for the diamond heel sock. And this is pretty, uh, I think, she, and it's toe up or, or cuff down. And she gives some pretty good instructions. So I think I'm going to try it. It's designed to keep your, uh, when you do self-striping, to keep the self-striping consistent through the heel. I'm going to try it. Me and Sack, so I keep putting them on the needles, so whatever. I even ordered two um, more 9-inch circs. So I'm going to get this out of the box now so that I can it away. I love her card. They're so cute. She's so awesome. Go find her. Support her, please. Be a good human to other good humans. Be a good human to other good humans. Okay, so that's it. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sticking around. Thanks for helping. Please like, subscribe, share, all the stuff. Um, I am super enjoy spending time with you, talking to myself, talking to you about cross-stitch. Thanks for uh, just letting me, I guess. Um, I don't have anybody else to talk to this stuff about, so you guys are my, my crafty collective group distance. I don't know what we call ourselves, but you're my friends. Thanks for being my friends. So go do something good today. Be good to yourself. Remember that you matter. Um, all my love and hugs all the time. Peace.